to be uh, because it's the latest update sort of loading or whatever whoa there we go oops <laughs> I should have been inside the truck for that one Hey people, hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Okay, we're in Lil Lilouette. I think that's how you pronounce it in Canada. Going through to Squamish. And we're picking up, let's have a look. What we're picking up. We're picking up a Volvo. Woohoo! And Oops, wrong button. Let's try that again. Okay. So it's a Volvo articulated hauler. It weighs 55,115 pounds. And like I say, we're going through to Squamish. And uh, that should take us about three hours. We're just on three hours to get there. And like I say, it's in Canada. That's the route we'll be taking. Down past Pemberton through to Squamish. And we're in the Ironworks um, W900. It's a paid mod. If you're interested in it, I'll uh, leave a link to it down below. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Starter up. Got a bit of uh, background music playing in the background, of course. <laughs> And uh, we'll get going. Tiger's on the dash as per usual. He loves the sunshine. Let's hope we can swing wide enough to get out of here without hitting anything. Should be right, I think. Nothing coming either way now. Good stuff. Beautiful. Now I haven't been through uh, this route that we're taking, so it's new to me. So we'll uh, both discover it together. But yeah, like I say, this is the Ironworks uh, W900, paid mod. Comes in uh, quite a different, few different formats. Um, for example, uh, you can put on the um, huge rims and tyres and raise it. Put big mud, mud floaters on it for, uh, through the snow and whatnot if you want to take it up through Alaska. Um, makes it look like a real... Ooh, we've got a turn here. Yeah, real mean machine. With the uh, large rims and tyres on it. We're going to hit that sign. Not miss it. Good. And, uh, yeah, it comes with all that um, when you buy the mod comes with its own engines, own accessories, etc, etc. Have a listen to the joke break. Quite a nice little burble to it. Step outside and have a look around. So yeah, uh, Pro Mods Canada has just been released for 1.48, and that's what we're doing right now. We're on the uh, 1.48 Canada Pro Mods map, and I'll leave a link to that down below. So if you're interested in uh, grabbing that, you can do so. 
Now, the Pro Mods maps, they're free, but um, you can donate to the guys that make it. And I would suggest that maybe you make a small donation to them if you're uh, going to um, grab the maps off of them. Because they do a fantastic job for very little reward. Ooh, there's some tight roads around here. They, uh, all ProMods do um, maps for uh, ETS2 as well. They do uh, Europe maps, Steeps. Um, yeah, I can't remember all the maps they do for that. But I use them on uh, ETS2 as well. And like I say, they do a fantastic job. Just trying to uh, turn my phone alarm off <laughs> in the background there. Oh yeah, well this is a different type of road. Very picturesque. Very uh, thickish. <laughs> That's a word you could use. I don't um, normally, when I'm just playing this game without recording, I don't normally do third person view like this. So it's uh, it's unusual for me, but I do it whenever I record so you guys can get a better look at the scenery, better look at the truck, so bear with me if I make a few mistakes. Uh, quite possible I'll run off the road or I'll hit another car or something like that. And uh, every now and again I'll jump back inside because it's, um, it's better for me to be inside on tight corners than that, like this one, so I can see where the truck's heading. there. I like a bit of a challenge though. Very scenic though with all the waterways and whatnot through it. Got the 18 speed to eat and fuller in this with a final ratio of uh, 3.25. And I think this is a thousand horsepower motor that's in this one. Although you wouldn't think about it, I think it was with uh, the way it's pulling. Not, uh, not pulling it you know, as if it's all open. Yeah, I suppose it is. Got to remember they're pretty steep inclines we were just going through. Yeah, 
getting a bit of a lag there with the game. I haven't had a lag like that for ages, although it's, it could just be uh, because it's the latest update, sort of loading or whatever. Whoa, there we go. Oops. <laughs> I should have been inside the truck for that one. That'd be right. Go on the motorbike. Um, we stuck up on this now. Yeah, she doesn't want to come off. That's better. <laughs> uh, well, I'll uh, just have to remember to get back inside the vehicle when I'm on tight corners like that, guys. I'll try and give you this scenic uh, view whenever I can. But like I say, uh, I'm not real good at third person view. definitely uh, an interesting road guys so yeah if you want to try it out just remember that between Lilliroot it's spelled L-I-L-L-O-E-P -L -L -E and Squamish in Canada like I say very scenic very tight corners Russian tight it's very tight corners Like I say, I'm getting a little bit of lag there every now and again. Might be just a bug in this uh, map. Like I say, it's a new update. So, uh, yeah, my frame rate's dropped a bit too, so that's possibly what it is. And hopefully the guys from Pro Mods will um, get that fixed and give us another update. Or maybe it's just my computer. Go straight on. Or my internet connection. Let's see how we go. This seems to be only when I get outside the truck. But it lags. I have recruit re discovered a recruitment agent. Woohoo! Oh, having a stretch up there and a bit of a yawn. What a life. something that uh, wouldn't be bad in the game is uh, brake fade but when you're coming down steep hills like that so that uh, the hotter the brakes get the, the less um, grippy they are and they fade away as you get down that make it more realistic Trying to get you a good look at the lake there, guys, and not having much luck. That might be better. 
How's that? Hopefully that's a good view for you. Guys, I keep asking this question, and hopefully someone will answer me one day. I'm thinking about doing a go trucks competition, where you send in pictures of your uh, different trucks that you've done up to look like show trucks, and um, after a certain period of time, we uh, find out who's uh, voted on them. Get uh, all the subscribers, all the people that are interested to vote on, whoever's got the most votes at a certain time. Oops, that's for it. Yep. Uh, yeah, whoever's got the most votes at the end of a certain period uh, wins a prize. Possibly a. Ooh, I thought that car was going to overtake me then. Um, <clears throat> yeah, possibly a um, gift voucher for Steam or something like that. So if you're interested, let me know below because um, I'm definitely interested. I wouldn't mind uh, getting something like that started, get a bit of uh, community involvement. Whistler. All right. Go straight on. Got a viewpoint coming up here, we might have a look at that. See what it's all about. Because this doesn't look starting in first gear, you gotta whack it in low. Wonder if it's got something to do with the weight of the cargo. <laughs> I would say it would be. Alright, where's this viewpoint? That off the road, is it? Whistler Village. Are we going to be able to turn around if I go down there? Keep your fingers crossed, guys. We're going to check it out. Back out of here. <coughs> maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. Oh, oh yeah, we might be able to. Yeah, we should be right. We'll see what happens. All right, engine off. Let's take a look at Whistler. Oh, check out the cable car. I'm on taking that for a spin. So this is Whistler. Anybody from Whistler in the audience? Say g'day. Shout it out. Well, this is boring. <laughs> the back alley. Maybe we shouldn't have bothered. Although we've got some nice mountains there. Snow covered mountain. Oh, I'd say it'd be a bit cold to get in that pool. <laughs> You reckon we're going to be able to turn around there? I'll give it a good try. Alright, 
So that was whistle blur. <laughs> All right, let's see how we go. Just had to put that pole there, didn't they? Can hit it? No, good. Not good on the tyres for the trailer, but there you go. We made it. These are like the bikes around here. The motorcycles must like the tight corners on the uh, mountain roads. We had an accident over there or something. Yeah, it looks like the car's run into a motorbike. Oh well, I'm not gonna wait. I got caught like this once before and waited for ages. Oops. I don't think I just hit the <laughs> uh, sorry mate. Yep. Yeah. Mr. Og S swaying back and forth there, so he might be a bit drunk. Yeah, like I say, that's happened to me before and I sat there for ages waiting for the traffic to clear and I thought, nah, had enough. Just drive around. Expects to delivery soon. Sorry, very soon. We shall make it. We're only 18 minutes away. It should be right. rivers around here. Warmish coming up. Mr. Policeman, man. Oh, there's another one beside me by the look of it. Yep. Out in full force today. This is Squamish. Where are we dropping off? Oh, we 
that's why it's up here on the left. Right in here. Yep, yeah, that's where it is. Where are we parking? Oh, there, okay. In between the buildings. All right. The good thing about having this dual monitor set up makes um, parking so much easier because you can see both mirrors just like you would in real life. Just want to have a look on the outside, see how I'm going. There we go, I'll show you. I don't normally reverse in third person either, as you can see. Beautiful, look at that. Magic. Magica. Let's see how we did, let's see if we're on time. Oh, yes, excellent. Okay, so 147 miles driven. Time taken was 6 hours and 2 minutes. Jeez, it didn't seem that long. Uh, fuel consumed was 54 gallons. And we made just under 12,000 schmackaroomies. I'll take all of that, thank you very much. So yeah, what do you think there, people, of the truck? Paint job's quite nice. And uh, yeah, she's a big brute of a truck. And I'll leave the links to uh, where you can purchase it in the description below. Like I say, it comes with all the mods. Uh, sorry, all the accessories. Uh, it comes with rims and tyres and yeah, the full works. It comes with everything. The interior is pretty good. Oh, did I show you the rest of the interior? Hang on, let's let's go and have a quick look in the interior. Do, 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 quick. Okay, yeah. So interior-wise, it's quite well done. There's the Australian flag because I'm an Aussie. And uh, yeah, shotgun for the uh, gear shift. Bugs uh, give me the stair down there. Comes with its own steering wheels and so forth. So yeah, it's um, the full bottle. So if you're interested, like I say, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Also leave a link to the Pro Mods uh, Canada map if that you haven't already uh, downloaded that. And again, like I say, remember to give them a, a bit of a donation. Doesn't matter how much anything will probably do them well. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just like what they do. I'm um, not affiliated with Ironworks, again, just like their mods. So, uh, yeah, thanks for coming along for the ride. And uh, hopefully, if you liked it, you'll share and let people know. And uh, pop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, you might as well. And it helps me uh, with the channel. helps me get uh, my content out there. Anyway, again, thanks for coming along for the ride. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.